identify bottlenecks in the movement of coal. Abhimanyu, many thanks for joining us. The Advertising Standards Council of India has conducted a dipstick survey of 820 respondents above the age of 18. The key findings of the report suggest that 79% of people in India trust social media influencers and that they are likely to buy products that they endorse. However, complaints over misleading ads are also piling up. Archana joins us now with the details. Archana. Thank you, Shireen, for that. So basically, an online study conducted by the Advertising Standards Council of India says that a whopping 79% people trust influencers. And as a result of that, 7 in every 10 Indians are likely to buy a product that has been endorsed by them. The Advertising Standards Council, or ASCI, has come out with its Influencer Trust Report. The key takeaways are 90% of respondents have made purchases based on influencer endorsements. And the reason is transparency and honesty about brand associations, relatable content, personal stories, their follower count, and to some extent, their sense of humor. This behavior seemed to be more prevalent among people aged 25 to 44. At the same time, not being honest and transparent was the top reason why people might lose trust in these influencers. Other reasons were repetitive content, promoting too many products, unrealistic lifestyle and body image. Not to mention, 64% of respondents think that a brand becomes more trustworthy if an influencer endorses it. Another key takeaway was misleading ads and violations. Now look at the number. ASCI has received 2,767 complaints against brands and influencers for not declaring connections since the guidelines were released in May 2021. Now, according to this report, most of these violations were seen in the personal care and food and beverages category. Instagram is the most guilty of them all, followed by YouTube. Now, this pending behavior can also be gauged from the fact that six out of ten respondents claim to spend at least two hours on social media every day. Back to you. All right, Archana, I appreciate you joining us. That is the latest as far as the ASCII survey is concerned. Well, moving on, uh, we do have a lot more coming up for you right here on CNBC TV 18. But that's it then on this edition of Business.